Hi, bonjour, I'm Stéphanie from Learn French with Stephanie.com. Être ou avoir une veut pas composé Let's talk about it. <coughs> Last week, I told you that the vast majority of French verbs are conjugated with avoir in the passé composé. So, if you have any doubt, the best is to use avoir because it will be correct almost all the time. About être, the best method is to remember the 17 main verbs that use être in the passé composé. I give you them. We have an easy way to remember them. We use the letters of Dr. and Mrs. Van der Trump with two P. So, devenir, il est devenu. Revenir, il est revenu. Monter, il est monté. Rester, il est resté. Sortir, il est sorti. Venir, il est venu. Aller, il est allé. Naître, il est né. Descendre, il est descendu. Entrer, il est entré. Rentrer, il est rentré. Tomber, il est tombé. Retourner, il est retourné. Arriver, il est arrivé. Mourir, il est mort. Partir, il est parti. Passer, il est passé. The second thing where we use être in the passé composé is with the reflexive verbs. These are verbs that have the reflexive pronoun. So, of the shortened as with an apostrophe. For example, se réveiller, se lever, se laver, s'habiller, se doucher, s'endormir. Look at how to form the passé composé with these verbs. Let's take the example of a verb laver. Je me suis lavé. With je, the reflexive pronoun is me. Remember, with it you have to agree the past participle with a subject. So, if je is feminine, you add an e. I advise you to watch my video on the passé composé if you want to learn about endings of past participle with être. The link is below in the description. So, tu t'es lavé. With tu, the reflexive pronoun is t with an apostrophe. With il, elle, and on, the reflexive pronoun is s with an apostrophe. Il s'est lavé, elle s'est lavé, on s'est lavé. With nous, the reflexive pronoun is nous. Nous nous sommes lavés. With vous, the reflexive pronoun is vous. Vous vous êtes lavé. With il and elle with an s, the reflexive pronoun is se. Ils se sont lavés. Elles se sont lavées. I gave you the list of verbs using être, but there are a few exceptions because some verbs can use avoir and être. These exceptions are if there's a direct object complement. To find the direct object complement, in French we say quoi, which means what. For example, with sortir, j'ai sorti la voiture du garage. J'ai sorti quoi? What did I get out? La voiture, the car. So we use avoir. But if you say, il est sorti avec des amis. 
Here you can't say quoi. We use être. Ok? Another example. Il a tombé son verre. Il a tombé quoi? What did he drop? Son verre. His glass. So we use avoir. But if you say il est tombé dans les escaliers. You can't say quoi. So we use être. Ok? That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you again for a new free lesson. Au revoir. A bientôt. The next step is to download my free level test and my free ebook. Five steps to becoming a confident French speaker. You learn what you need to do to speak confidently and fluently. Thanks so much. Bye. Au revoir.